I'm Bernadette Brady and I'm just giving you a brief talk about the astrology package of predictive materials. But before we actually look at this and just review it a little bit, just a few minutes talking about what you're trying to do with predictive astrology. One of the things that astrologers are really good at is generating data. From a simple piece of birth data, we can generate a great deal of paperwork. And it is that great deal of paperwork can actually cause a great deal of confusion. The art of predictive astrology is not only knowing how to understand a transit and how to delineate a progression, but it's also about knowing how to sort it out, how to get a package, how to get a shape. And that's one of the themes, the driving themes, which is actually running through the 30 hours of lectures on this predictive package of materials. The aim is, or most importantly, what you're doing when you're doing someone's predictive astrological work is you are trying to look forward at their story. You're trying to tell them their story. You're trying to give them a narrative which they are walking through and not to dictate to them about what's going to happen, but more importantly, to tell them the quality of the time they're moving into. Astrology believes in Kairos time, time with quality. We don't know exactly what's going to happen within a particular period of time, but we can dictate by the astrology the quality of that time. Are you going to be sitting down having breakfast with Saturn all that year? Are you going to be dealing with Pluto? Are you going to be dealing with intense things or not? And if you are going to be dealing with Saturn transits, for example, in the context of what? What is the phase of your life? What are the seasons of your life? What are you thinking? What are you doing? That's your story. And this is the level or, or way you sh what you should reach for in predictive astrology. Now, with that in mind, this is what this package is all about, taking you through that process. So that if we look at it now, then if you... When you open up the index, you see you actually have five sections as well as a workbook. Um, if we click on this one, you'll see you've got the following set of lectures. Now, these are MP3 files which play on your computer. Just click on them and they'll play. You can transfer them onto an iPod, iPad, um, phone, any MP3 playing device and listen to them while you're on the run. No problems. But what you've got with each one of these is you've got the sections of the ebook that it refers to. And here's the ebook here. To get to the ebook, you just click on it and it'll download onto your computer. It's already on your computer, but it'll download through your browser. And if you say yes, we'll keep that, open it up. And here we have the ebook. And I'll size it up so you can see it in the frame and then we can simply scroll down. Now there's 154 pages of this ebook with uh, diagrams, case studies, um, cycles, charts, um, examples of time maps, etc. So that you can, as you go through each MP3, it will say this section of the ebook, pages whatever to whatever, you go to it. What we suggest you do is you print this out and um, then you can actually, I'm just trying to see if we've got a time map here. If you print it out, this is looking at solar returns. If you print it out, then you can easily turn to the sections that you need to actually go to. And one of the things you're aiming for with this is to actually develop what's called a time map, which is putting all the transits and all the progressions together so you can read the person's next year in their life month by month, giving a combination of transits and progressions. So that's, that's the ebook, and that's accessible on every single stage of this disc. But here we have the first section, which is a general introduction, as well as looking at the, the transits of Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto, just to get you started. If we then close that and go back to here, disc 2 is working with time maps, I just showed you those on the ebook, and then just using the transits on the time map, getting a feel for it that way, then getting into cycles, looking at midlife crisis cycles, planetary cycles, all sorts of cycles. From cycles, you then step into progressions, to some of the really big important cycles of life, the secondary progress, lunar progression, introduced to astrology by Raja in the 1970s and 80s, um, a very important lunar cycle, which talks about the seasons or rhythm of a person's life 
Indeed, I find in consultation work, by the time I've talked about the person's secondary progressed lunar phases, I've given them a context for the big story of their life and they can start to understand where they're heading for in the next five to ten years and then they can actually start to deal with what's happening tomorrow. If you tell someone or give someone an idea or help them gain an idea of where they want to be ten years from now, they can actually make more informed decisions about what to do tomorrow. And indeed, that is the aim of good predictive astrological work, to enable people to move themselves into the future so they can start to pull themselves there from the future. If we now look at this 4, what we've got here is the art of prediction. We're looking at returns as well, planetary returns, not just solar returns, Venus returns, Saturn returns, etc. But we're now looking at how to make predictions, how to tell a story, how to build a story. So predictive astrology is so much more than just knowing how to read a transit. You have to be able to put it together. And indeed in the final disc, it's about putting it together. We look at some medieval techniques like Fedaria, we look at eclipses, really important, and then we actually spend a whole lot of time how to build a package for a client. So this is the predictive materials which you've been looking at, ebook and all these sections. You download it as a zip file onto your computer and then, as I said, you can just run it as often as you like. That's fine. But the most important thing that I wanted to share with you is that doing predictive astrology is telling a story and you need to understand what predictive technique fits into what part of your story. The lunar phasing and Fedaria, for example, give you big pictures. The lunar progressions and the individual transits are like small picture stuff. And you need to actually marry that together into a package. So you take the client from the beginning of the journey, showing them big picture, and then lead them through, showing them what's going on in the next month, two, three, four, the next 12 months. And then in the end, you take them back to the big picture so they can see the context of what's going on in their life. And then they are empowered to make more informed decisions. Predictive astrology is not telling someone what's going to happen. Predictive astrology is giving someone the understanding of the quality of time they are walking through. And that's the important thing to remember. So this has been a little bit of an introduction to this package, but also just trying to give you in a, in a soup song um, what is the philosophy behind the lectures, the 30 hours of lectures on this particular um, Astrologos package. Okay, if you have any questions, just, just email us, ask us a question, that's fine. We sometimes take a few days to get back to you, but just email us. But most importantly, good luck with becoming a predictive astrologer. Good luck with um, reaching for that goal. And most importantly, become a good predictive astrologer because astrology needs good predictive astrologers, astrologers who do it sensibly in a grounded way which empowers the client and helps them move forward with life. Okay, bye-bye.